Okay, I think this is my first fails video. Um, I stamped this scene, or at least posted the video of this scene, on April 7th, and it is now June 30th, so eh, almost three months. And this is a photo stamping scene using dye-based inks for the most part, pigment inks for the, uh, the white uh, light beams coming down, and versifying black oil-based pigment ink used for the imagery here. Okay, the, the, the lady and leaves kind of flanking her and framing her up. But look at this. I picked this up about two days ago, or, or saw it. I have a stack of um, scenes that I do, and they just kind of wait around, waiting for me to um, get around to spray sealing them. And I didn't spray seal this one, so going back to that aspect of this being an oil-based um, ink on top of the photo paper, okay? This is a photograph of clouds that I had printed at at Costco, so it's your standard uh, photo paper. Uh, this one happens to be a gloss. And not spray fixing this um, created this kind of situation where um, the ink just kept bleeding out. I guess it's just sitting there on the surface and slowly over time it's just bleeding out and bleeding out and bleeding out. But look at this. This is three months now, okay? And watch this right here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but that ink is still completely wet. Let's just smear it right here and see. Can you see that? Get that focused in there. See that right there? That ink will just, it just won't dry. So it's sitting there suspended like liquid on top of the surface and it will run. And apparently three months later, at least in California, if you're in a real arid place, maybe it sets, I don't know. It's not, I don't know what it says about, you know, that certain ink on top of this um, photo paper. Like I said, it might be okay if you spray seal this and fix that ink down, but I'd think that it could potentially run even then. I don't know. Um, the spray fix, fixatives and, and um, acrylic sealant, spray sealants, with the binder in them and the drying um, agent, whatever it has in there, it could penetrate the ink and fix it down, but I would be really careful about um, using um, the correct uh, spray paint protocol in terms of uh, light coats and allowing each coat to dry. And you want it to dry very fast. If you put a big, thick slathering of um, spray sealants on this, I have a feeling it will uh, make the inks run and then it'll dry and fix that way. So be very careful. That being said, I think for photo stamping, at, at least for me, I think I'm going to avoid, except for the white pigment ink, that dries pretty quick because I'm just putting it on in very thin layers, but thicker applications of it, like for foreground um, purposes that I like to use it for, I'm probably not going to do that anymore. I'll probably just stick with the water-based, dye-based inks. And as you can see, the, um, the Seaside Cove here is perfectly, you know, set. It dries beautifully on photo paper, but again, at least thick saturations and uh, images that have a lot of surface area with um, these inks, it just is not going to work. And I think I would just avoid using it, you know, for any types of uh, things. These are more kind of silhouette based in nature, so there's a lot of surface area, but I don't think I would even do that with kind of the more delicate images that have a lot of like uh, uh, stippled details like that. So anyway, uh, learning new things all the time. I thought I had used um, some uh, black pigment ink on other photo stamping pieces before, but I don't know, maybe I didn't. So again, this is just talking about photo paper, okay? It's emulsion based. I'm not talking about glossy cardstock. Glossy cardstock, um, the oil, you know, based um, pigment inks work absolutely fine. They don't run like that, okay? So whatever it is in here, it's just not soaking in. It's not allowing that ink to penetrate 
and to dry by um, absorption in addition to evaporation. It's just completely too sealed off for that. And like you can see right here, it just stay seems to stay wet forever. I don't know how long it would take for this to eventually set, but um, I don't know. It's longer than uh, three months in the uh, kind of the late spring, early summer in California. So, anyways, um, uh, I don't think this is one that I can repair. I always say that there's something that you can do, but having that oil base down on there, I don't know. I can use the top in here. I can cut this out, but that's not really a save in terms of the overall. But I don't know. I might do some sort of scene, like a like a ATC card or something like that. Put it right there, and I can put like a little sailboat or something like that on the horizon. So I don't know. There is something that you can do with that. But um, as far as the majority of this piece, that ink right here isn't so wet so you know that you can absolutely remove it i don't think but i don't know it wouldn't really wouldn't be worth the time but a good learning uh you know uh, a good lesson here in terms of uh what maybe not to use on photo stamping pieces i'm i don't know there's a lot that i have to learn still about different types of media and combinations of it. So anyways, if you have any questions, drop me a note in the comment section or if you have any suggestions, like I said, you know, other types of things like stays on or, you know, water-based, um, dye-based inks would work just fine. The only reason I use the Versafine on this one is because Versafine, that black is super, super dark, rich, and uh, just a beautiful ink in terms of the impression quality and retention of details. But, um, no, it doesn't work with uh, the glossy um, photo um, photo prints. So, anyways, uh, lesson learned.